Hi guys, welcome to my channel, my work channel, and here is Michael Mark. Today, bring you by the young pupil. Her name Thung Dung. She is 32 years old, and her husband Khan Chi. He is 33 years old. Their lives so struggles for the living. They got three children. So one is the blind, and the other one is about six years old, and they went to school. Their homeland is here, but their life is struggle. Her husband work as construction and then she work in the factory but during this disease spread all over the world and then the factory is closed and her husband lost his job too They couldn't earn any income to raise their kid, especially uh, her kid won a blindness and he need care too. And then they have no job to earn any money, but they make the living now by people live around, give them a food to eat. They both try hard for searching for a job, but they only be able to work in the local. This village is the name of Pretais and in Kandal province and in district Sa'an. This area is the flood area too, as I mentioned about it before most every video. So the flood area is for the poor people to move in there. Because the flood areas, people who earning good income, they never want to move in there because every time it flood, it flood about five to six feet and they ride to their home, but they have to find somehow to make their living to live, to get away from the flood, but it's very, very hard, but they have no way out for uh, getting better solutions for their living. They only be patient to solve this problem over and over every year or every month with the flood situation. It is a heartbreaking to see this young pupil a struggle in their life. If you would like to help, please share the video. If you would like to support or help to donate to help them to start their life, please leave the comment. We will discuss and talking about it, how to donate a few dollars and send it to Cambodia. I had two guys there to work as a team for work and for tech, working hard every day. They traveling across the country to the other area that they heard they have more poor people who need help. I do not how to say how is my feeling is really sad and too much depressed, too much stress and how to helping them just think day and night how to make them to start their lives it better and with a few dollars to help them a day. If they can have five dollars a day from their job or helping to start their life, 
it is a lot of money five dollars a day but they only earn the top earning seven fifty a day but they didn't have the permanent job but the job over at Cambodia they only pay day by day but mostly the average people earning two fifty a day is ten thousand real it sounds ten thousand real is a lot of money but it's not a lot of money because four thousand real is one dollar it is today very expensive it's hardly to find some place to buy your lunch with seven dollars at least at Burger King I paid about eleven dollars to get the combo whopper but over to Cambodia if they have one dollar they can feed the whole family if two dollars a day is a lot of better but one income they can earn top the average income daily and two fifty a day is ten thousand real but they can earn uh, more if they get a job but every job is just close and they're giving up their life but they are struggle no matter what in their future they know it's not good and bad future but they still keep searching for a job and struggle for their life to make a better life and send their kid go to school get more education can break through the poverty life generation to generation Uttak and Puwot went to their really great Thai in Saang district and in Kandal province to bring some donation to helping them to starting their lives. If they get more donation, they will go back and help them to start their own local business to earn some money. If they can earn 30 to 50,000 real, their life can be a lot better. You can see Putak gave this money to them to helping them out. And they're so excited and happy, appreciate and thank you very much for this kindly help. It is a great gift to helping them when they don't have anything. You can see the tin house is not belong to them and somebody ran for them. But in the United States, you see this only the storage or something they abandoned in the wood. Not people can be able to live in there, but this poor house is their home, but they cannot own the land or own the home either. They couldn't afford it. They lost their job and their job pay only a little money and they cannot buy the land. The land very expensive. If they're so lucky, they're earning some money from their job and they can earn those money and they saving up, they be able to earn those money and then they buy the land 20 feet by 20 feet. They're also lucky to having the land. Somebody rent this house for them, but I'm not sure how they making a payment for their house. But they said they didn't have the permanent job. They just searching for a job, whatever they earn, and then they pay for the rental. If that month they cannot earn anything, they just owe them. You know, this that month by month they back up the payment. But if they didn't have any money to pay them, they will kick them out and they have no home to stay. Thank you very much for your support and if you will like you 
And if you would like to support, please subscribe and click notification bell to receive new video uploads from Cambodia that do this job by Puat and Putak work harder to searching for the poor and then interviewing them making video to spread all over the world to let the people say about how poor the Cambodia is. And this is the end of their stories and I really appreciate for your support and help and thank you very much for you will like you. Stay tuned, please. We'll see you guys on the next video. You guys have a wonderful day. I am Michael Mark. We'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye. Have a wonderful day. Bye now.